Geminis, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading. As always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's go on with your reading, what's happening for the beautiful Geminis? The Two of Wands and the Six of Wands. Oh, it's Two of Pentacles and Six of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. Okay. So, Two of Pentacles is juggling. You might have a lot going on very soon, but you're going to successfully be able to manage whatever it is you've got happening. Um, it's a little bit like others would be overwhelmed, but you're not overwhelmed. You've, you can handle this. Like, easy peasy. Then you have Six of Wands, which is success and victory, so things will work out very, very well for you. If you have two projects going on at once, if you're very much um, stretching yourself quite thin between projects or work and home, it's almost as if you might convince yourself the quality of your work is decreasing or it's not going to be as successful. But I'm getting this feeling that you're completely wrong and you're going to be happily surprised that you realise, oh, you are still creating very good work, whatever it is you do. Others of you, it's just like... Some of you, it's almost like your family's getting bigger and bigger. And there's some type of worry, like, you thought because you're so busy all the time that you'd be less for everyone, but you're not. You're still somehow keeping up. You're still... You... I don't know, you're, you're underestimating or you underestimated your... Um, the amount of love and care and energy you have within yourself to give. I feel like it's unlimited. You're just gonna... You keep growing into someone more and more capable of loving and caring and looking after everyone. As opposed to you're not being drained. You're, you're somehow... Um, it's very healing for you, whatever you're up to. Some of you it's... Yeah, I don't know how to describe it better. You thought you would have less or you thought your energy would be depleted in some way, but you are actually somehow becoming more and more successful in everyday life. You have the Page of Pentacles also, which is a gift or an opportunity coming in, and you have the Eight of Wands, which is something happening very fast, communication coming in, um, letters, emails, phone calls, but I'm getting understanding, understanding, so there's some type of understanding that's going to come from a conversation or a phone call um, that you may have lacked or you didn't quite... Something wasn't completely um, clear to you, but it's going to become very clear. Clarifying the Two of Pentacles, you have the High Priestess. Some of you need to trust your intuition more. Um, with the Two of Pentacles, you may feel a little bit like, I don't know why I'm getting hot potato come through, but you could be switching back and forward between two things. If you um, are starting a business or you have a couple of different hustles happening, the little like side hustles that you're switching between and trying to decide on and you're trying one thing out and you're changing it. With the High Priestess, I feel like you need to trust your gut and you need to trust your heart and your intuition because you feel what's right. And I feel like something may take off very quickly but you feel like you want to do the other thing, if that makes sense. You, There's something that's going to bring you very fast success. There's something where you feel it's going to bring you long-term success. And you know they're two very different things. Trust your intuition, okay, when it comes to choosing. If you're choosing between two things. Clarifying the Six of Wands, you have the Devil card. The Devil is sometimes addictions. It can also just be bad habits, toxicity, um, ego. With the Six of Wands, there is some type of victory on the other side of your ego. So if you were to let go of, I feel like everyone obviously has ego. It's not like, oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm not saying it as a bad thing. But there's something where if you pay attention to what it is that you're um, afraid of showing to the world. I don't know, there's something about wearing your heart on your sleeve or being more putting yourself out there in a way that makes you a tiny bit vulnerable in your eyes but not in others. You see something as bigger than it is. You see something as, oh I couldn't do that. Oh, what would someone think? And that's exactly the thing you need to do. There's something, there's huge success and victory on the other side of you going, oh, 
what if what if they perceive me with this way or what if I'm perceived this way with that devil card I'm definitely getting a feeling of being um some of you are watching this going I don't care what people think and you don't however there's one person and it might be someone in your close family or it might be someone um your best friend or something that you actually do care about what they think because you value them and you value their opinion but um yeah it's there is a certain level of this there's also a certain level of like wanting to be judged as little as possible by others and then going actually judge judge away judge if you want me to because there's some type of stage or some type of spotlight you're going to be in in some way and that could just be metaphorical but i just feel like you're going to be shining in some way that you would usually resist or not like but you're meant to be seen in some way whether you like it or not <laughs> clarify the page of pentacles and you will like it because you'll be doing good in some way Clarifying the Page of Pentacles, you have the Magician. So there's some type of opportunity that you have actually manifested, that you've you've brought it into your life. You already... It's not like... You wouldn't be surprised when this comes in because you've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about it heavily and then it's given to you, which is really cool. It's something you already have had on your vision board or on your... Um, like, I don't know, it's like what you were planning on, what you're heading towards, it's in your goals, it's, I don't know why I'm getting, um, what's it called at the start of the year when you make a list of things, um, I don't know why that's coming through, hopefully you know what I'm talking about, New Year's resolutions, I don't know why it's, it, there's something where, something on your New Year's resolutions, or something that was maybe just on a list that looks like that, um, is going to come come to fruition in some way. Clarify the Eight of Wands. The Ten of Wands. Some of you are letting go of um, communications more easily. So some you could be, I don't know why I'm getting the word baiting, but I am for a reason. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands shows me there could be somebody that is baiting you in some way, and you're going to be more like not taking the bait. If you were in the past, um, there's something where you're walking it off, you're letting it go. And a lot of the time I tell you not to do this, but it seems like this is a switch for you. It's a switch up. Maybe you have already been standing up for yourself and it's just falling on deaf ears. It's like talking to a brick wall um, because there's something where you're not taking the bait. Someone is baiting you and they're going to be very shocked when you kind of go, huh. laugh it off, walk it off, ignore them completely because you're not caring. You're not interested um which is very nice to see like others of you i don't think it's almost like this was about someone else someone would talk negatively about someone you care about and they knew that would you would go yeah how dare you and like there's something where they're doing they're they want a reaction from you because you're very very protective and passionate about those you care about and there's something here where it's you're not going to take the bait or the tarot cards are advising you not to take the bait because it's not there's going to be a sense of letting it go and letting go of a lot in general. You could be moving very soon, some of you. Um, I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tales Hero Tuesdays.